This episode of Real Ale Craft Beer was brought to you by beersofeurope.co.uk, Britain's largest beer shop. It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Mother Earth Brewing Company and it's a can of their Cali Creamin Vanilla Cream Ale coming in at 5.2% ABV. Lovely, lovely design work on this can of craft beer. I'm not sure if I've ever had a vanilla cream ale before. Sounds lovely. Should we get the can out into a glass and see what we get? Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. It looks relatively refreshing. Doesn't look... I suppose cream is just in the, in the name. Nice clarity to the beer. Is it bottle conditioned? Oh, sorry, can conditioned. It looks unfiltered. You can see little bits and pieces floating around there in the glass. Nice level of carbonation. One finger white head. Shall we get the aroma? It smells like cream. It smells like cream soda. Vanilla cream soda. It smells lovely. A oh, white chocolate. Gonna dive in. Cheers, everyone. Oh, man. Stone the Crows, that is the most extraordinary beer I think I've had in four months. That is astonishingly good. Actually, it's it's the most extraordinary beer I've had since the Syntax Imperial Stout, which was amazing. Wow. Nicely carbonated, a multi backbone, but somehow they've crammed in vanilla, white chocolate, and it, yeah, it's definitely that kind of cream soda. That canned cream soda you can buy as a, as a refreshing non alcoholic drink. Pardon me, they've added it to this beer. The flavours, it's pretty damn good. And when you read cream, this is the difficulty with probably trying to sell this beer. In that it tastes amazing, but picking this up on the shelf and getting over the fact that it's got Cali cream and vanilla cream ale written all over it, you kind of think in your head it's gonna pour out like an ice cream, don't you? But in fact, getting over that and drinking it, it's very refreshing. It's just a cream flavour. Really, really interesting beer. And a beer that, although I don't think I could session, I don't think I could have another and another and, another and drink this all night long. But for one beer that was a little bit different, that wasn't an IPA or a pale ale or, or a, a Weizen or something else, that you know, you got you're taking your mates to the pub for the first time. This could be something which you could say, "Hey boys, hey lads, try this out. It's really different," and it would be kind of quite, quite happy to sit there with the one beer and, and enjoy it. It's really enjoyable. Really enjoyable. Get over that mental block of it being really creamy and, 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 and awful sounding for a beer and you love this, it's really good. If you like beer, you'll like this, this drink. I'm ready to give it a rating. For me, this beer is unique and I like, especially after reviewing so many different beers, we're nearly hitting 3,000 beer reviews now. 
I like the uniqueness of something that's different. Like this Syntax Imperial Stout. That was one of the best Imperial Stouts I've ever tried on the channel. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.